for a scientist to observe, Chantel. Look very closely. Look very closely. So this is called the assist approach now. It's very student-based, inquiry-based, hands-on learning. That's why the kids love it so much. It's all student-based. So they come up with their own questions about what they want to experiment with. And the teacher is just the facilitator. So after they came up, they wrote in their journals about their questions. I will collect the questions and we'll have a discussion about those questions. And then we will base our experiments off of what they want to learn. A lot of it is discussion based too, so they're talking with each other about what they're learning. They're talking with each other about what they're finding out. I just sit back. I'm just the person who says, oh, why do you think that? What evidence do you have about this? It's a lot of evidence, so they're gonna have to learn that if you think this way, you have to show me or tell me why do you think that. You can't just say because I said so. Shine in the shadow, because you need light to make this shadow. What I love about it is it is so hands-on. We are so explicit throughout the day. This is what you need to do. This is what we expect of you to do. Whereas science, I think the reason why the kids love it so much and they are so into it and engaged is because they're taking ownership of this learning. They are working really hard and they are working well together and learning these new skills that maybe they wouldn't get so much in reading or writing or math. So it's a really nice part of our day.